What's up guys, today I'm not gonna do a vlog, I'm just gonna talk about something important. So last week in social media I found that many people were sharing some statistics about the European Union population and actually some numbers are a little bit shocking. Well, we all know that the Lithuanian population is decreasing, but actually the Lithuanian population is the one that is decreasing the most in whole Europe. So I'm just gonna show you these numbers. Basically here you can see how Lithuania is at the end. So actually it's minus 14.2 the total population loss. It's definitely not good. So the main question is why this is happening? Why the Lithuanian population is decreasing so much? There must be something wrong here that people is running away. So I was just digging a little bit in the internet, checking some statistics, some numbers about Lithuania. In 1990 when Lithuania got independence from the Soviet Union, the population was 3.7 million. 2017, nowadays the population of Lithuania is 2.8 million. So I'm just wondering, is decreasing year by year, so by which year the population is going to be zero? Is that gonna happen? I don't think that's gonna happen, but still, if you see these numbers actually, I mean, it's going down, 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 down. I don't know at which point we'll stop. So there are many things that people don't like here. There are many things that especially Lithuanians don't like. I've been living here for almost four years and I think I know a lot about this country. I think I know a lot about the culture. I was here when Litas were here, then with the change uh, to Euro. And I can see the changes. I, there are many changes here, good and bad. So what Lithuanians are saying, why they are living? Because they are earning low salary, high taxes, expensive prices especially people that raise basic salary. I mean, I don't understand how do they survive because things are getting so expensive here. Things are getting insane. Before when somebody asked me, why do you come to Lithuania? I was saying because it's a small country, it's safe, it's beautiful, it's cheap. So now I remove that cheap because it's not cheap anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment much about taxes or something like this because I'm not an expert of that. But living for some years here, I can see that many Lithuanians are not happy and they are looking forward to leave the country. Don't get me wrong, but I can see how Lithuanians are trying to find that Western European lifestyle, looking for material goods and services that they cannot find in this country. And many Lithuanians compare the country with Norway, with Finland, with England. And actually, that, that seems to be also a psychological thing, you know, like that you're born with the idea that this country is bad and then you need to leave. It's true, Lithuanian economy has been growing, things have been improving a lot. Yeah, many people are saying, yeah, prices are getting high, but salaries are also growing. But salaries are not growing that much, especially for the medium class people. For international companies, for people that is working in international companies, yes, salary is growing. But for people that is working in local businesses, I don't think salary is growing. I know people that they are earning the same amount of money now than when it was Litas here. And at the end of the day, you spend more money to survive and people is really feeling the pain. I think maybe many people is still Soviet minded, you know, maybe the government should try to find any other ways to bring more businesses, money here, hello Estonia, than just increase taxes. So you know how hard it is to get a residence permit here? I know, it's not easy in any country, but if the population is decreasing, at least make it a little bit easy to get a residence permit or to be allowed to be here or to work here. Also, if you wanna get a residence permit, you need to go one, two, three times to immigration department until they finally take your papers. Yes, they need to check what kind of people is going to live here, but make it a little bit easy. Bureaucracy, I have to say, is not the best. I always feel the pain when I have to go to renew my residence permit. I hate it. I hate that time of the year when I have to go there because really, really, there are so many issues there. Yes, immigration department is improving, but I think it should improve more. And I think the people working there should be more polite, you know? This might be some of the reasons why people is leaving. This might be some of the reasons why Lithuanians are tired of here. Of course, I know many Lithuanians that are successful, that they have their businesses here, they have a lot of money and they live a good life. But if we're talking about the middle class people, the low class people, there is for sure a problem there. Things are getting expensive and I think this is one of the main reasons why people is leaving. Talking about myself, I really want to stay here. This is a great country to live, it's really safe. But I think that there are things that need to be improved. I can tell you, 80% of the Lithuanians that I met, they asked me why I'm here. And they don't understand why I decided to move here. 
there are many job opportunities here but the thing is that I don't know something there is something there that is making people believe so apart from salaries migration prices jobs there are other reasons why the population is decreasing for example the birth rate the birth rate has also decreased there are several factors why this is happening but I'm not gonna go into detail as I say there might be several opinions about this Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. If you have any other ideas, you can just write in the comments. I appreciate that you watched this video. Enjoy the rest of the summer, guys. Subscribe. Peace out.